so that we can have these futuristic jobs, that it isn't just gonna be a concept, but it's really gonna happen. We're gonna have more opportunities in weatherization through Department of HUD. The president has said a million homes will be weatherized. That doesn't mean that's just gonna be the end of it, though. We wanna make sure that those people get additional training so they can move up the ladder, too. Maybe we can create those opportunities for people then to come back and do the measurement of what a house energy usage is to help reduce that footprint and monitor that. Wouldn't that be exciting? Some of you have, or you have the skills to do that already. And I can see also where we're gonna be looking at wind energy, <coughs> building the equipment and hopefully having that material produced here in the United States. And it's gonna take money, it's gonna take willpower, and it's gonna take a belief on the part of you all to make sure that we get there. So I just wanna tell you before I close how excited I am uh, to be a part of this new administration and in this new 21st century green revolution that should help all of us, that should touch all of our lives. Nobody should be left behind, and in particular our veterans. A lot of our young men and women are gonna be coming home shortly. And this, this administration says they're gonna make a priority to make sure they get their jobs. And some of them are gonna be coming back to work for you, or they'll work alongside with you. And I hope you welcome them, because we're gonna need to help them. Those are our family members. And that's a big priority for this administration. Along with that, our young people. I know a lot of people here, I'm sure you, you have youngsters or you have grandchildren who are kind of wondering, where, where is their future gonna go? Well, the unemployment rate for the youth right now is, is skyrocketed. It's 21%, 21%, and it's higher for different parts of the country. We want to put those people back to work, and we want to show them green skills. So we're going to partner with our apprenticeship programs as well, with our community colleges and with our VOC education programs, so we can ramp up their skills so they have something to look forward to, those that want it. So in ending, I just want to say how proud I am to come from a working class family, to come from a family whose father was a shop steward and whose mother was an assembly, assembly line worker for the United Rubber Workers when they used to be called that. Now they're the, now they're the steel workers. But she worked for 20, almost 20 years too uh, for Mattel Toy Corporation. And I can tell you, I remember she used to come home so proud saying, you know, at that time minimum wage was $1.60. And she used to come home and say, you know what? The union fought for us to get 10 cents, 50 cents, or I got, I got more breaks, you know? And all that meant so much to her because she had to stand on her feet. Can you imagine working eight hours and then she'd work an additional two more hours overtime because she knew she had to help put uh, food on the table for seven kids, and she did it, my mom and my dad. So I'm proud to be here. <laughs> Working class people and labor. So you're welcome. Thank you so much.